What's up everyone? There are some kids films that aren't simply fun and entertaining, they are also amazing to learn English. These films don't just find the perfect balance, they have everything that kids expect with enough action to keep adults like you interested. Films that are made for kids are full of visual support to help you learn English without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without subtitles. That's why we selected 10 of the best old and new films and animations to watch as a family and help you have fun while practicing. Just like Bolat who says that they're sharing all our lessons with friends because sharing is caring. Now they can understand everything even without subtitles. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell down below to achieve the same. If, just like me, you are a big fan of kids' films, then today's lesson is just for you. When you're with Mary Poppins, suddenly you'll win places you've never dreamed of. Take a trip down memory lane with this classic Disney film and one that many of us grew up watching. When faced with the resignation of another nanny, the Banks family is surprised by the appearance of Mary Poppins, an enchanting nanny that takes the boisterous Banks kids Jane and Michael on thrilling adventures using her magical powers. Children of any age will be enchanted by the combination of coloured animations. Plus, the songs are pretty catchy and fun for the whole family to sing along to. The best part is that there's a sequel called Mary Poppins Returns, in which the nanny returns this time to look after Michael's, the Banks's, little kids. My daughter quite likes me to do the voice for her sometimes, you know. I think my cool factor hits the sky when I do yeah. that. Yeah. You know, which is kind of cool. She'll say, do your Mary Poppins voice. Do the voice. And I'll say, spit spot and off we go. <laughs> and she literally goes, <laughs> loves it. I'd like a bar of chocolate, please. My dear friends, you are now about to enter the nerve center to the entire Wonka factory. Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities, and some of my realities become dreams. Boys and girls, the chocolate room. As you can see, I love fantasy movies. Just like Mary Poppins, this film also has a more recent version starring Johnny Depp as the factory owner, Willy Wonka. I grew up watching the original version because just like Mary Poppins, these family movies are always on TV during the Christmas holidays in the UK. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory follows the mouth-watering adventure of the poor boy Charlie as he encounters chocolate waterfalls, giant lollipops, edible flowers and much more. Ask a kid what they think it would be like to spend a day in a chocolate factory and you're likely to have a joyful response. Besides being immersed in the fantasy-like world, you'll also have the chance to practice your listening. This is kind of strange. Yes, but it's fun. <laughs> Charlie, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. This is something that you can also practice doing with our Fluent With Friends course. Not only will you understand real native speech, but you'll learn thousands of the words that we use in daily conversations. You'll also gain access to our Fluency Circle global community so that you are never alone on your English learning journey. And the best part is you can try it right now for free with our three-part masterclass. Just click up here or the link down in the description box below to learn more and sign up now. Jumanji, you wanna play? Alan, look. In the jungle, you must wait until the dice read five or eight. Alright, 
right, so this one is so gripping. The story follows the adventures of kids playing a supernatural board game. While playing in the late 60s, Alan Parrish became trapped inside the game. 26 years later, siblings Judy and Peter find the game and unwittingly release the now adult Alan. Together, they will try to find Alan's friend Sarah and finish the game to reverse all the destruction it has caused. If you're a fan of role-playing games, which by the way are awesome for practicing English, then you'll love this movie. Plus, there are already three other sequels for you to enjoy. Welcome to Jumanji! This next adventure is even more challenging. And remember, the future of Jumanji is in your hands. I have one important question. Who is Jumanji? Is that Barbara's boy? We're gonna die. We did die. Are we in hell? I knew it. Oh, my God. Pretend, pretend that that's a seed. It's a rock. Oh, I know it's a rock. I know, but let's just pretend for a minute that it's a seed, all right? We'll just use our imaginations. Now, now, do you see our tree? Everything that made that giant tree is already contained inside this tiny little seed. This rock will be a tree. Seed to tree. You've got to work with me here, all right? Okay. Now, you might not feel like you can do much now, but that's just because, well, you're not a tree yet. You just have to give yourself some time. You're still a seed. But it's a rock. This is a film to unlock everyone's imagination as it tells the story of an outcast ant named Filk recruiting a group of circus bugs in a desperate mission to help his colony from evil grasshoppers that come to the anthill and eat what the ants have gathered for them every single year. Besides great nature-related vocabulary, this film also teaches respect for others who are different, the power of teamwork, and the value of owning your mistakes. And action! Pretend, pretend that that's a scene. Mm, oh, my light again. It's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting. That's my mom. That's my dad. And you and I are like, like sisters. Hi, we're like twins. This one stars Lindsay Lohan playing the twins Hallie and Annie, who were separated after their parents' divorce when they were babies and find out about each other by coincidence at a summer camp years later. As the name of the movie suggests, the twins will do whatever it takes in an attempt to bring their parents together again. I made a lesson on real British accents in which this movie was featured due to Lindsay Lohan playing both an American and British character. To learn more about these accents, you can click up here or the link down in the description to watch it next. kid to be more careful. Another great movie about family. This film is set 20,000 years ago when everything was covered in ice. While migrating to avoid bad frostbite, an unusual group of animals reluctantly come together when they have to return a human baby to its family. You're lost, aren't you? That's it, you're out of the herd. Kind of a metaphor for life. There's always bumps and, and hurdles you gotta get over, but through it all, your family is always there and will always support you. And that's kind of what the message is underneath it all. So the kids are having fun, but they're, they're learning a, a good thing. Matilda already knew that she was somewhat different from her family. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. Had they paid any attention to her at all, they'd have realized she was a rather extraordinary child. Matilda was one of my favorite stories growing up and a literary classic by Roald Dahl that every child should read. The movie really brought the book to life and it tells the story of a sweet child who is misunderstood by her family because she is very different from them. She escapes her life by reading and honing her skills to the point she develops telekinetic powers. 
In the midst of dealing with cruelty at home and school, from the ultra scary headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, she finds an adorable teacher who recognizes her skills and becomes her best friend. Get in the car, Melinda. Matilda. Whatever. Probably the coolest thing is when people tell me that they introduce their children to it. So they'll say, my daughter loves it, my son loves it, I watch it with my kids. And that is really cool to know that you were part of something that is generational. Oh. Freeze, Ray! Freeze, Ray! Freeze, Ray! <laughs> Despicable is used to describe someone who is mean. This is what everyone would say about Gru while he is on a quest to steal the moon and show the world he is a true criminal mastermind. However, his supervillain plans go down the drain when he meets three adorable orphan girls who want to make him their dad. Believe it or not, Gru is voiced by the hilarious Steve Carell, best known for playing Michael Scott in The Office US. And once the moon is mine, the world will give me whatever I want to get it back. And I will be the greatest villain of all time. That's what I'm talking about. Boys! Yeah! Girls! Yeah! And the worst thing of all, they smell weird. Rascal is a word used to describe someone who is mischievous and cheeky, usually a child, but has no intention to hurt anyone. As the name suggests, the kids in this film are up for the task. Friends Spanky and Alfafa run an anti-girl club called He-Man Women Haters and their friends Porky and Buckwheat as well as other boys from the neighbourhood. The boys are getting ready for a big go-kart race when leader Alfafa breaks the fundamental rule and starts to flirt with Dala. The gang unites more than ever to prevent Alfafa from becoming friends with a girl, cost what it may. Every moment of that movie was, was so locked in, I think, to our memories. Um, just because, like I said earlier, it was such a big experience. It was our first big experience, I think, for all of us, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. not having seen each other in so long, it felt like it was yesterday. choice is a movie adored by both kids and grown-ups. In this Disney classic, a group of toys pretends to be lifeless when humans are around. But just like us, they learn about the hardships and eases of life while unfolding friendships, dealing with jealousy and coping with loss. It is the universal experience of growing up told by the point of view of the toys. It all starts when a cowboy doll named Woody finds himself having to share his owner Andy's attention with the new astronaut action figure named Buzz Lightyear. The two initial rivals have to work together when they are separated from Andy, which results in one of the most beautiful friendships on the big screen that can be seen in the three other movies that follow and make any family laugh and cry together. We made a lesson with the first movie, so if you'd like to watch that next, you can click up here or I'll link it down below as well. What I will say, Woody found a great friend in Buzz and Tom has found a great friend. And I totally agree. I adore our friendship and I thank you two for getting these two. Way to go. Buzz. Buzz! On my way, Woody! Yeah. Buzz, light you to the rescue! Let us know if you liked our list and don't forget to share your favorite kids movies in the comments down below. Movies can be an engaging way of learning a new language and the best way for you to consolidate your learning is to put these words into practice. So why don't you download our app for free and start exchanging ideas with people from all over the world. See you there. Pull my string, the birthday party's today? Okay, everybody, coast is clear. Ages three and up, it's on my box. Ages three and up. I'm not supposed to be babysitting Princess Drool. <laughs>